Also breaking tonight, students at dozens of Pittsburgh public schools are going remote tomorrow. The district is implementing its new extreme heat protocol. Our Royce Jones is joining us live now. And Royce, we're talking about buildings that just don't have AC, right? Exactly, and there's 40 of them to be specific. According to the district, you guys, PPS, uh, most PPS school buildings actually are about 85 years old on average and do not have AC. We asked the district why so many of their buildings do not have air conditioning. And as it was explained to us, it seems like money and time are some of the biggest challenges here. PPS has recently been adding more systems at different buildings across the district thanks to ESSER funding and also budgets to have at least one project per year. However, at Allegheny, for example, which just had a system installed last year, the project took more than two years and $16 million to complete because of the age of the building dragging the process out. When we come into these projects, we have about an eight week window where there's no kids in the building. So that really takes the, the challenge of these projects to a whole nother level. So we add about eight months on in front of the in front of the project to, to work on it, have our eight weeks in the summer where there's no kids, and then we add another eight months afterwards to finish up the project. So having that kind of a disruption is difficult. That said, more air conditioning systems are coming to the district. Projects will begin this summer at Banksville, Whittier, and Lincoln, which should all be finished by next year. In the meantime, to find out if your child's school is impacted by this extreme heat protocol or to learn where you can get some grab-and-go meals for them during this time, just keep your eyes peeled to our website. Reporting live, I'm Royce Jones, KDKA-TV News.